Good morning, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. I wanted to make a quick little video here. This is day seven of Spinal Cord Injury Awareness Month. Um, now, I don't know if you've noticed this, but at least for the past 10, 15 years, people just don't look when they cross the street. You know, I know not all of you in wheelchairs drive. Some of you take public transportation. But when you're out in public and you have to cross the street, you need to be aware of the driver's perspective, okay? Because even though we have a law that says pedestrians have the right of way, unfortunately, people have taken that far too seriously and forgotten the fact that the average person may weigh, let's say 180 to 220 pounds. That's the average person. Um, and they just blindly walk across the street. A lot of them don't even look. A lot of them have their their freaking um, ear pods on. They, they don't hear, they don't look, and they figure when it says, uh, you know, walk, they could either just walk straight across the street, not even looking at the traffic that's still slowing down or about to run a red light. And it, it, just, it just boggles my mind, okay? So realize that you are the small person and the average vehicle out there, average I'm saying, is anywhere between three and 6,000 pounds, um, you, you stand almost no chance, okay? Now, if you're in a wheelchair, you're even shorter than the average person walking across the street. And um, you also have to take into consideration the fact that if you're in a wheelchair or paralyzed, let's say, a lot of you have muscle spasms. A lot of your muscle spasms are triggered by, uh, let's say, uh, a, like a rough surface. So if you're crossing the street on a rough surface and you trigger a muscle spasm that you have to actually stop to, to control, you know, which I, I've had to do before. You know, I, I push my manual chair and there is one spot over here that I cross and I'll show that to you in a second. And it is a rough surface. So I need to be able to cross that path, that crosswalk without worrying about somebody coming and turning in or somebody coming and turning out of the neighborhood. Because if I'm stuck there in the blinding sun to a driver and I'm sitting there spasming like a fish out of water, they may not see me. And the only time that they will realize that I'm there is when they hear me hit their front bumper and go under their car possibly. So I'm just gonna get, show you an example of an intersection, okay? And uh, a little bit from a driver's perspective. This is a main road going from west to east. Okay, with a crosswalk. It's a neighborhood there, a neighborhood here. So this crosswalk, you see these two painted lines? These are painted lines. There is a wheelchair access ramp on each end. That's nice and smooth. But people, whether you're walking or not, if you're in a wheelchair, make sure you look both ways. I was taught that as a kid. I never had a problem with it, but for some reason, people don't look anymore. They just figure, oh, if I'm between these two lines, I'm safe. These lines are not concrete. It's not a concrete wall. It's not a steel wall. A car can easily take you out, especially if you're crossing this when a driver has this in their vision. This is where you need to be aware that when you're crossing that crosswalk over there, vehicles probably won't see you. So hopefully you find this video uh, beneficial and it brought to mind something that you may not have thought of. Uh, my goal here is to help everybody live a safer life, especially those in wheelchairs, uh, just because we have a lot more obstacles out there, okay? And I know some of, the, some of you don't drive, so you do need to see a, um, you need to see things from a driver's perspective and realize that even though pedestrians have the right of way, you better pay attention to what's going on out there. So please check my website. It's thewheeldean.com. Okay, you could also go to deanjoyce.com. Uh, that'll bring you to The Wheel Dean. I've been working a lot on that. If you have any suggestions on things or material you'd like me to add to it, uh, please send me an email. Uh, there's all the contact information on there. Okay, share this video if you could. I'd appreciate it. Have a good day.